Nice to have the sun back today, Keith, but uh, don't get too used to it. No, the sun does make a huge difference though, right? Even when it's not that warm, it just kind of feels nice. And we've got plenty of sunshine out there today. Visible satellite looks good. We've got a couple of clouds coming into the mountains, but most of us will be sunny through the rest of this afternoon. Keep in mind, we're approaching our earliest sunset of the year, so uh, not that much afternoon <laughs> to be had necessarily. Current temperatures right around 40 in Portland and Wiscasset, 36 in Bangor, 30 in Millinocket, and into the 20s across Caribou and into Greenville. Winds have settled down since last night when they were gusting over 40 miles an hour in a lot of spots. So again, the rest of today looks good. Some late clouds coming in right after sunset. And tomorrow morning, there's no problems. You know, talk about this storm system on Wednesday. Just to be clear, there should not be any issues with the morning commute. And for a lot of us, there won't be issues with the evening commute either. We'll talk more about that here in a second. But snow starts to build in. Now, the, the low is way offshore. It's actually off screen here. So it's far away. We're on the northwest side of this system. That means that some of the snow will be really off and on and relatively light. It'll be just the coastline, especially the mid coast and down east Maine that could see some decent bands of snow through the middle of the day and then into the afternoon. It's off and on snow again and into the evening as the storm wraps up. We could get one last burst of heavier snow into down east Maine 9 10 11 o'clock and then that system moves offshore in time for Thursday, which actually will be pretty similar to today. It'll be an in between storms kind of day with a good deal of sunshine and temperatures getting into the mid and upper 30s. Maybe a little bit cooler, I guess, than today, but not a huge difference overall. Our next storm moves in on Friday. That will be some light snow changing over to light rain. One storm at a time, though. Let's talk a little bit more about tomorrow because I think for the vast majority of the state, this is a very low impact event. Often on periods of light snow, no big deal. But there will be an inverted trough with this system and those inverted troughs have extra lift in them and so they can produce some heavy snowfall and relatively narrow bands that kind of move along the coastline. These things are notoriously difficult to forecast. There's one around on Wednesday. Looks like it kind of scrapes into the mid coast, maybe down east Maine and then wiggles out of here on Wednesday night into Thursday. But that trough could produce locally higher snowfall amounts. So we've got a broad one to three. I'd say a lot of these spots in this one to three, especially farther to the northwest, won't even get one. I don't think it's going to be a big deal, but watching over the mid coast and down east Maine for the possibility of that trough causing some extra accumulation. I'm going to give it a shot for this afternoon and this evening at trying to figure out where those zones are and put them on the map. I'll probably regret it, but I'll give it a shot nonetheless and try to give you a better idea where we could see that trough moving in. Quiet on Thursday, snow showers over to rain showers on Friday, and uh, the weekend is probably a little bit warmer even than we have there on the seven day. We could be into the mid 50s on Saturday. Unfortunately, we will do that most likely, Pat, with rain. I looked at this temperature map first. I was like, oh man, 58 in Portland on Saturday. And then I looked at the precept. I'm like, oh, never mind. Not so much fun yeah. after all. <laughs> Thank you, Keith.